This, oh, loud noise outside. Here we go, everybody. This is a very impromptu vlog. I thought that I would sit down very, very quickly and give you a quick update. Currently, I am here in Sydney, Australia, and I am here for the holidays. I am so grateful to be here because it has been three years since I have been home for Christmas, and Christmas is one of my most favorite times of the year, and to be home here in my family home with my parents and my sister and her husband, and to be able to be catching up with friends here in Sydney, it's just been absolutely amazing. It's the most perfect time to be reflecting on our year and then making a plan and thinking about what we'd like to create in the new year. I am very active on my social media platforms when it comes to Instagram and Facebook because I have my affiliate marketing business, I have my high ticket company that I am affiliated with as well as partnering with my online community. No, this is not a business video. However, when I think about some of the things that I wish to be involved with in the new year and really thinking about the life that I wish to be living, I am so grateful to be living in Bali because I get to surf every day. There's incredible places to eat amazing vegan whole food plant-based food and then there's access to buy fresh fruits and vegetables as well. Another passion of mine is creating content. Now, of course, I need to be creating content when it comes to my business. However, I have this mad love for being, you know, for vlogging and creating videos and photography and then ultimately, obviously, videography. And then I really do love it post-production editing as well. And I'm so grateful for what I get to do with my online business as I do get to create content. That's one part of my business. At the end of the year in 12 months time, where do I wish to be? What do I wish to have achieved? Recently, I had attended, when I first came to Australia, I was two nights in Brisbane and I attended the online event that was facilitated by my online community. We had in the daytime speakers from all over the world, some of the most successful people in my industry come and speak and share about their success stories as well, other really amazing things. And then we had this incredible party on the Saturday night. There were more awards, there were more speakers on stage. And then we had an event on the second day on the Sunday where we had like a meet and greet in the park and then we're creating all this amazing content. And I had the most life transforming time and I'm still riding off that high from that. What I learned by listening to all these speakers is that we truly have the potential and the capability of creating any life that we desire and ultimately any income that we desire. It's a matter of being really focused and having a clear vision and then being mega consistent and committed to doing everything that you can to allowing your big vision, your dreams, your goals, your intentions to unfold, to manifest into your reality. It just got me thinking about what is my plan? What would I like to achieve in the next 12 months? Where do I see myself in the next three to five years? Journaling down the different areas of my life and what success looks like, looks and feels like for me in those areas, and then creating a plan. And for me, I've broken that down into financial success, professional success, personal success, creative success, health success. It's been a really tough year for me. At the same time though, I've had some amazing success as well. Personal success, professional success, and financial success. And I just wish to expand that further into the new year. And I'm really excited to move forward with my business and move forward with my creative goals and move forward with my health goals and move forward with my relationship and my friendships in Bali. That brings me into my YouTube channel here. My goodness, the time is flying. When I really look back on this year, I can see the areas of growth when it comes to you know, my business, my personal life, my financial life, and I'm so grateful and I'm excited that I created a lot more momentum. However, when I get really honest with myself, I can see the other areas which I really need to pay closer attention to, giving myself more compassion and grace and patience. Attending the event in Brisbane a couple of weeks ago, 
it just got me so excited that in this day and age when we have technology, when we have all the social media platforms and when there is just so much information and resources available to us to become better in our own selves as our own individual selves and to be able to learn any skill to be online to create whatever success that we wish. This, oh, loud noise outside. Why, why? Can you hear that? <laughs> yeah, I really struggled to stay consistent. I think overall, like if you look at my social media platforms, not specifically YouTube this year, I have been consistent. But the thing that stands out to me is that when you can think of like your long-term vision, specifically for YouTube, it takes a longer time to grow. And then, you know, on some of these other platforms, I'm really just now starting to dive into TikTok and learn all about TikTok. To really be able to grow success online, to then ultimately create wealth online. And it's not all about the money. Money is simply a tool which allows you to live a certain type of lifestyle. When I think about my vision, not only being a successful entrepreneur, to have amazing overall health and wellness, to be surrounded with people who really support me, you know, people who understand me, being able to visit my family, having beautiful friendships, having a beautiful relationship, possibly in the future starting a family. I think about my long-term vision and I have always been in a position to inspire people, lead people into a flow state. I used to be a full-time yoga instructor. I've always wanted to support people and encourage people and I have been inspired by others and I also wish to inspire others and wanted to sit down and just speak to you where I'm at and I know this is all jumbled and I have been figuring out a lot of ways how to create my content, what my message is, what my voice is, what I really want to stay true to, what my dharma is. And I do, I really wish to you know, help others to be able to achieve what most people perceive as impossible, to make possible what most people perceive as impossible. This has always been like a life mantra to me because growing up and then in my later years during my 20s and 30s and I'm now in my 40s which I think is a very powerful decade to be in. I've struggled with having my own personal insecurities and my own fears and my own resistance to things but then I've also struggled with having other people judge me and laugh at me for some of the decisions because I always have been a little bit different. Now in where I'm at in my life and especially with my age and then just where I'm at in my own entrepreneurial journey and my time living abroad overseas where I'm at in my own relationship with my partner in Bali and of course where I'm at with within myself I have a big vision and I know that we all have to start somewhere we all start from this level and in order to reach our success we have to keep taking step by step, one day at a time, step by step, one day at a time. I really learned that this year it's really important to not lose your vision and it's really important to honor those times when things aren't going so well and to really embrace that but to learn from those times and then to be inspired and be in your creative zone, really be able to show up and do what you need to do every day that moves yourself forward in in becoming a better person and in growing a business or, or learning a passion if you're learning a hobby doing things every single day to keep moving forward because ultimately we as a human race we're evolving and that's going to continue to happen whether we like it or not we are in a sense aging time is our most precious commodity we don't get that back it's important I believe to have your intentions and have your visions and have your goals and have your desires and then of course to not have any attachment and not have any expectations to those enjoy pursuing your life ambition grass mowing big large machine i was like okay cool it's like super loud let me like change lenses take a quick thumbnail take some content other content pictures and then now all of a sudden i'm in silent and so i was like rush put the other lens back on you know content creator issues. Is there anything specifically that you would like me to share about? Like my overall niche would be entrepreneurship. 
all that day in my life as an entrepreneur as you know I'm a surfer and I love my vegan food but it's not specifically going to be about surfing or because I'm not like a professional surfer and I'm not trying to like teach surfing same thing when it comes to like I'm very passionate about my plant-based living about being a vegan however I'm not a health coach I'm not I'm not even a life coach I niche is entrepreneurship and then my channel then will be all about the high ticket affiliate company that I'm with, that I partner with, as well as the automated online platform and everything to do with online business, affiliate marketing, growing as an entrepreneur. Other part is personal development and mindset. And then the other content pillar is my behind the scenes and logging and sharing about like surfing and then plant-based living and all of that so i've gotten really clear on that and i think that's something that's really important that you need to become really clear on what your niche is even though some people say like don't be too tied down to your niche because as you grow with your channel or your brand or your business that can always evolve because as humans we are evolving and can you hear the lawnmower machine coming back now random vlog I know as I've learned all the time from think media they always say you just got to press record step one you just got to sit down press record create some content getting 1% better every time here we go however I'm stoked I sat down this is where I'm at these were my thoughts if you want to leave any other comments or questions just leave it below otherwise I will see you next video <laughs>